Hello and welcome to another Computech video. In today's video we're having a look at this. It is the Cool Bee. It's a eSports gaming mouse. Um, these will also be under the new brand. And you'll see that in a minute. There's a new brand coming out soon. So let's have a look at the packaging really nice design packaging so it's cool be on the side sort of tech style design on that side a little bit of the mouse it says eSports gaming mouse it says cool be all up on that so let's get out of this plastic to reveal a very nice very nice box it's very well printed very smooth as well so nothing on the back but these are normally supplied to um, OEMs so they put all of the information on the back opening up the box you are presented with obviously the lid Two screwdrivers, let's have a look at these screwdrivers, normal flathead, it's 2.0 and a Phillips again 2.0, they're really nice screwdrivers as well, I might actually use them for other things, unfortunately the mouse has ship, uh, shifted a bit in shipping. So let's take the mouse out. Oh, that's a nice weight to a mouse. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. So we've got the company branding there. Now that can be any company branding. You've got the really nice design there. Metal wheel. Oh wow, you look at that. It's metal on the button. It says gaming mouse. It does say made in China. And I believe it's made by the same company who does final mouse. So getting good quality there. So let's peel off all of those plastic slidey parts. I think there's some more there. And then you've got a lovely braided cable with a reusable um, Velcro, I forgot what it's called, cable tie now. Lovely USB end and it's actually slightly gold plated. I don't know if the light can capture that but it's slightly gold plated. Really nice end to it. The weight of this is perfect. It's a really nice weight. There's a little dial here which adjusts the back, as you can see that's going out, adjust it the other way, and I believe it goes in. Yeah, it's going in now. So I don't know where these screws, um, where the screws themselves are, but you can see there's sort of aluminium, I think it's aluminium, it's really nice, um, sort of thin down there, down there, got LED um, light channels just right there. And there. I believe the middle lights up RGB. It's a very, very nice mouse. 
made in 2021. So very new and it's got a very good weight to it. So I'll just plug it in and we'll just have a look. So now you've seen the mouse, let's take a closer look. Okay, it's now all plugged in. And as you can see, it does have some LED settings on it. Really bright LEDs as well. So, I need to have a play around, see what all of these do. Um, I believe it only lights up when it's actually detected on Windows. Now in comparison to the previous mouse that we did that has RGB, the Marvo Scorpion, this one looks a lot nicer. It's a much nicer mouse, but it is more expensive than that with the keyboard and mouse. And all that. This is quite a bit more expensive. Um, I will be doing them on the Computech website. Um, so there will be stock on there, including the screwdrivers, right here and here. So on the back, you do have the very, very well lit up red. I think that might be a laser, I'm not too sure. But you've got the um, LED for the lights there. You've got your DPI settings there, which is quite nice that you have flip it over to change the DPI settings because the amount of times I've accidentally pressed the DPI button on this mouse instead of the um, brightness button. You've also got um, programmable macro keys. In some cases you can use these as uh, back and forward. We can change them to whatever you want. I believe this is also adjustable. I'm not too sure. I think so. I think these all adjust as one part with the little part down here. As you can see, that really cool effect going through there. And here's setting two, which I believe goes down instead of up. Not too sure how. how it all works. Setting one, setting two. So ah, so setting one changes the LEDs along the bottom. As you can see, you press the DPI button and it changes. They've got green, pink, green again, purple, red. I say that's red slash orange. And a light blue yellow, pink, and green. Pink setting two. Just 
changes to DPI. Which is quite clever, it's just one button does all. And this, even though it's got a good weight to it, it feels really nice in the hand. Um, I believe it is fully adjustable, but I would need to have a look into how you adjust it. I believe these sides, they can move. And I know that the bottom part definitely moves. But it's really absolutely gorgeous. I do like this mouse. Whoops. <laughs> if I don't kick the camera. So this is the Cool B. Quite an expensive mouse, but definitely worth the price. And it looks so unique that people would go, oh what's that? But it's by the company who makes final mouse. So if you guys know Final Mouse, this is a company who makes it, and they are pretty much the best quality mice I've had. Um, it puts this to shame, this just feels really cheap and lightweight. It's a good mouse, but it's very cheap and lightweight in comparison to this. This feels like a quality mouse, there's no creaking, there's no cheapness to it feels quality and it should do you've got quite a lot of metal in there as well so this is the Computech review of the cool B eSport gaming mouse so these may or may not be on the Computech website we still need to sort of decide whether or not they're going to be on there or not because it does cost us quite a lot to import these um, but they will be exclusive to us if they were on the Computech website um, it's either going to be under their brand or under a different brand which you guys will find out very very soon so my name's been Adam thanks ever so much for watching this Computech review of the Cool Bee mouse